it's a very simple question. Question: Do you believe that democracy is coming to an end? Well, there's a lot of concern and discussion in the United States about exactly that question. And let me try to explain why that is. Uh, over the last 40 years, uh, one of our two parties, the Republican Party, has uh, become a uh, peculiar coalition of evangelical uh, business leaders, uh, uh, a, a whole host of, of peculiar, you know, uh, 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 coalition and a peculiar coalition um, that basically advocates positions that are held by a minority of the population. A majority of the population, and as Thomas pointed out, a vast majority of young people are in favor of things like an increase in the minimum wage, health care for all, access to education for all, uh, including universities, preschool, um, you know, a whole uh, gun controls, you know, all, all these are, are a position held by the vast majority. Now, in that context, what happens to a minority party and a minority party that is, uh, whose base is a shrinking part of the population? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, their, their, uh, uh, their constituency is based on uh, the less well-educated, uh, uh, they have uh, very small representation of people of color, uh, very rural, and the country is becoming urban, very diverse, and better educated. So what do you do if you're in that kind of minority position? Well, what you do is you engage in, a, in an anti-democratic agenda of disenfranchisement, disempowerment, and uh, locking, putting democracy in chains. You do things like you make it more difficult to register and more difficult to vote. Uh, you engage in gerrymandering. You put a lot of power of money into politics. And the net effect of all that is really to undermine democracy. And the culmination of this is that uh, President Bush got elected as a minority president. Mm -hmm. President Trump got elected as a minority president. And uh, the concern is that this may happen again. And uh, it's not only true of the presidency, the vast majority of Americans voted for Democratic candidates for the Senate but we have a Republican controlled Senate. So there's a growing sense of a large democratic deficit in the United States. Uh, how this will play out will depend very much on this election.